So number one, let's take a look at the state of the industry. Now, I don't claim to, to have in-depth insider knowledge on why specific you know, companies or individuals are not doing well. But here's a spark notes on some of the issues that are happening in the industry right now and causing, uh, causing troubles, okay? Number one, inflation. That's an easy one. Inflation has caused several things to happen. There's a domino effect because of that. We won't get into why inflation happened. We're not getting political on this webinar, uh, but things happened, shit happened and inflation happened. Um, uh, feds increased their rates. They still have not uh, indicated when or how many times they're gonna put it down this year, if ever, or uh, this year. Um, but that's the state that we're in. That's caused several things to happen. Number one, dealer fees, obviously, not gonna get into that. Everyone knows that. Dealer fees for solar financing has skyrocketed. That does a few things. Um, but primarily, it obviously puts up the monthly values that um, uh, that are generated when you're when you're uh, uh, offering financing to a customer. Uh, makes the deal less attractive. Now, I still don't see a massive problem with the numbers. If you know you, how you're doing your numbers properly, you provide the right value to your customers. It's, it doesn't really become that much of an issue that everyone makes it out to be. However, it is an issue for 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 many people, and it affects multiple things, not just a customer-facing proposal. So that's one thing. Inflation, though, has also called uh, caused uh, costs to go up across the board for everybody, right? Your milk is is uh, double the amount as it was a few years ago, and that bleeds into the entire economy. That not only affects your installers, suppliers, financing companies, uh, but it also uh, affects your customers and, and their psychology as well, right? Uh, customer spending psychology has changed. I don't think it's changed as much as you know uh, people would make it out to be, but it has changed. And and actually, that's the reason why the Fed increases the rates to combat inflation because they want people to spend less, right? So um, it's not been as successful as they'd like it to be, but it has had some sort of impact. And so it's not um, weird to say, oh, look, maybe one factor of why uh, less solar deals are being closed by as many people now is because customers want to spend less. I don't think it's a, an absolutely massive factor, especially when you take a look again at the problem that, that we're solving compared to the problem that buying a Porsche is solving, um, but it has to be mentioned, right? Um, solar financing providers are also under a lot, ton of stress. We've seen multiple of them um, have really big issues over the past year or two. Uh, that's why dealer fees are going up. That's why restructuring of companies is going up. Uh, several companies, finance providers, I know a specific uh, PPA company that just announced last week or the week before, they put their credit score floor up. Um, all of the sub FICO requirements, uh, sub, uh, 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 what's the correct term in financing terms, low credit financing products that we had in 2020 or 2021 have, uh, have completely disappeared with the big guys, with the big finance providers. Um, uh, DTI requirements go up, FICO requirements go up. Uh, lending criteria is, is more stringent. That just means less approvals. That means less customers going solar to the traditional route, right? Um, and I'm boshing out all of these. I'm not gonna talk about the, uh, the, the, all this uh, after this. I just think it's important to, to lay the stage, right? Uh, average credit score, this is an interesting stat. Average credit score across the US has decreased the first time in over a decade. You can Google it right now. We saw a steady increase in credit score, but in, I believe, 2023, uh, was the first year in over a decade that the, the average credit score across the US actually decreased. Again, that's not great when our credit score requirements for uh, traditional solar financing is going up, not down, you know? Um, large, high overhead companies are closing their doors. We've seen a ton of it happen over the last year. A million different reasons, don't wanna speculate, but it has happened. Um, and uh, that is not great for morale. If, if you see that and you're like, oh, shit's hitting the fan, all the big guys are, are dying, well, how am I going to survive? I always wanna to try to combat that mindset though because again, we've seen this happen a million times over. The big guys, traditional strategies go under and the new guys with new innovations absolutely skyrocket. This is just what happens in markets. It's not new to solar, it's not a new idea. It's happened for hundreds, probably thousands of years, right? Um, so again, it's just an indication for me, my my crazy brain looks at that happening and goes, oh shit, there is opportunity here, right? To innovate, to find new strategies. And low-skilled salespeople can't find as many easy sales. <laughs> I had to throw that one in there because at the end of the day, if you're an amazing, talented sales guy, you're never really gonna go hungry. Uh, we all know that. The issue with solar, especially over the past few years, is that it didn't really take a ton of skill uh, to, to sell solar. Um, you could have deals fall into your lap even if you're doing everything wrong and that's really a dangerous place to be um, 
uh, it, you never really want to be in that position, right? But that's the case. And and when you don't have to build up this level of skill to get deals, well, then why would you ever want to increase your skill level when relative to everyone else around you, you're doing okay? But then when shit hits the fan, you and a ton of people on that uh, skill level that never really needed to find new strategies and just kept doing the same thing, all of a sudden I uh, can't find deals because customers are starting to throw some objections at you <laughs> or you're, you're, you know, you're having to, to find new strategies and new methods and you just never had to do that before. So it hits you like a, uh, a bag of bricks. Is that bag of bricks? Is that a term? Pile of bricks? I don't know. So there's some, there's some basic factors, right? We just had to lay that, lay that infrastructure as to why things aren't going amazingly right now for those that are using uh, traditional strategies. Now, however, we, we're taking a look at what's not working, okay, but we are in an industry that is really unique. Solar and EBR, as I'm going to say more and more and try to get it into your guys' mind here, has a direct negative correlation with how everyone else is doing. I, I realized this like really early on uh, in, my, in my solar career, solar is a product yes that is sold yes but it replaces something that's not working and specifically again when you add financing to it and and you're able to um you know not have the customer fork up a, a bunch of uh, cash they don't have if explained properly customers can see that this is one of the few products out there that you can finance that you can buy that's actually helping their situation in a in a in a difficult situation whereas if you snapped your fingers and everyone's power bill was lower or everyone had a ton of cash in their account, would they be as motivated to take advantage of this product? No, they'd be going buying Lamborghinis and things they don't really need. Solar is a necessity. Solar really has a, a really interesting impact. And so when someone is really hurting, when that problem is really big, when the economy start going, Ugh, and there's a bit of uncomfortability, Products, very few products like solar and EBR are around, but those are the ones that shine. And that's what gets me so excited because now I want to take a look at the state of our customers because it is depressing. 